What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over a day trading recap. We traded AMC again, but this time we caught it short. Check it out. All right, guys, so we're going to jump into this video here. Before we do, do me a quick favor, smash the like button for me and subscribe to the channel. We're going to go over a few charts this uh, in this video, including the AMC one where we traded it live in the daytraderchatroom.com. We caught it short, but I show you the importance of being a diverse trader. I had no shorts available to me, so I had to go with put options, and those put options paid out rather nicely. So I'm going to show you how I traded it. I took two trades on AMC. Managed my risk tremendously well in the first one. You'll see why. And uh, we'll jump into the charts here right now. Before I do, if you want to come trade with us for free, we can uh, do that on Mondays. There's a link in the description and comment section where you can sign up for free chat Mondays. Or just come on up. Five days for five bucks. Get access to the dashboard, courses for you, some, some of the resources, and the live trading for five days as well. So go ahead and take advantage of that. I'll leave you a link in the comment section and description section. Now let's go ahead and jump into the charts. Every other morning, you know, every single other morning, I take a look at my gap scanners. Here are the trade idea scanners. If you guys are interested in these, I can get you a 15% off coupon code. If not in my YouTube, there is always a link and a coupon code there uh, in the description section and comment section. I you know, looked at the gap scanners and there was a few gappers there that I liked, like VTNR, I saw that, potential continuation. We went over that one yesterday and uh, we talked about it in the afternoon and we put it on the overnight watch list. Okay, so we did that yesterday on VTNR and uh, today's watch list was here on your dashboard at the daytraderchatroom.com vtnr itrm amc tmdi lizi tesla i had all these on watch to the long side but i did talk to you about amc potentially putting in a blow off top on the daily and i would be eyeing for that as well so this morning we step in here and right off the bell vtnr um, you know, had a nice little push and then it just started trading sideways. And what did I say this morning? This morning I said, guys, I'm going to be very patient off the bell. I don't trade the bell anyways, but I'm going to be very patient because I think that today we're going to see a lot of whiplash action because there's going to be a lot of FOMO because of AMC going insane yesterday. And because of that, we'll, we'll probably see a lot of whiplash. And sure enough, you know, low, yeah, right? Brand new low right here. Boom. Brand new high. Bang. Come back down here to test underneath VWAP. And then come back up here to make a new high. And then come back over here and make, uh, you know, break under VWAP. Like just random, random, random. And VTNR, we talked about it. Kevin talked about it in pre-market said this one won't be an easy trade. Because yesterday, it wasn't an easy trade. Look at that. That's yesterday's action. And then because yesterday consolidated the gap up, I told you guys, watch out for it tomorrow. You know, it could have a potential move. And... It did, it had a nice little gap up and it had one move, very similar to yesterday, one move, and then done. Today, sideways, sideways, when we were trading in here, I told you guys, watch this one because it could give us an explosive move out of nowhere. And sure enough, there's your move, bang, and then nothing. So, you know, didn't trade that one. ITRM told you guys to keep eyes on this one, had really good volume off the bell, but all it's done all day long is trade sideways. Fridays are typically one of the slowest or, or, or difficult, most difficult days of the week to trade. And uh, so far, most of these are showing us exactly why. Then TMDI, straight up. And then look at this. It looks like an OTC chart, right? My trade was on AMC. We're going to go over that one here in a second. LIZI, Lizzie, just faded the entire gap up. Tesla broke 630 like we were looking for it to do but it didn't hold the levels in fact it broke back underneath it and held it as resistance and here we are back down here 620s all right so then we had amc now on amc let's scroll back some here i traded amc twice i traded amc twice right here off the bell we had very nice volume big range and then we finally tightened it up a little bit right here, holding VWAP. And I came on here and I told you guys, guys, you know, keep eyes on this AMC here. Let's see what it wants to do. Whether or not it's just going to flag here above the 23.6 Fib and VWAP, or if it's going to break down 
and give us a blow off top. We break down and I immediately take a starter position on some puts. I take profits throughout this move to the downside. And then I actually add back because I still had some left. Well, where did it go? I actually add back right here on this test of VWAP because we kind of tapped it and came back down. And then this next candle opened up underneath it. So I added and I was in full size there. And then we get a break. I tell you guys, if it breaks over $34, just above VWAP, right? VWAP is my resistance zone. So if we break over 34 bucks, I'm gonna cut it loose. So right here, I get stopped out. Right there, that little wick stops me out of that position. But because I was able to take profits off on this move, on a portion, my add back on this little pop is a very small minimal loss very small minimal loss. This was a very tiny red trade, but it was thanks to risk management being able to take profits off on that quick new dump right there through the lows. If I don't take these profits off here, then this would have been you know, a regular loss. It would have been a regular-ish loss. It would have still been rather small, but it would have been a regular loss. The reason it would have been kind of, you know, not a big deal is because the entries on this was perfect I had great entries on these and the the contracts i traded i alerted in chat i was long uh amc put options 25 dollars strike june 4th expiration i i chose those because they're next week's fridays they had good volume and those are the ones i wanted so those are the ones i bought and got stopped out there then i got back on the mic i told you guys guys well you know that one didn't work but because managed risk properly it wasn't a big deal so now I'm going to watch it. I want to see what AMC is going to do. I have no bias at all. My only bias is what the chart tells me to uh, react to. Okay, whatever I see on the chart that I react to, that's going to be my bias. I'm not going to be here and be like forced trades to the downside or forced trades to the upside. I'm going to wait. I told you guys this. And then right here, we start to hold that 9 AMA. I'm like, guys. This thing could be setting up, but I'm not going to just jump in here in front of this 9 EMA with this 382 FIB looking for that move. I'm not going to anticipate that move. I told you guys. I told you guys. I'm going to wait for it to get up here, set in the top, and then pull back into VWAP a lot like TELL did yesterday that we traded. Same setup. That's what I was going to be looking for. It didn't give us that. What did it give us? It gave us one quick attempt right here to the highs and it got slammed right back down. And remember, these are all time highs on AMC. Scroll back here on the daily chart. I'll put it here to five years. There you go, boom. All right, you can see that line clear as day there on the daily chart. So once I saw that we couldn't break through here, once I saw that rejection here, we got slammed right back down to where would have been the support zone. I told you guys, this is a bearish signal. I'm not going to just jump in here either like I did over here looking for the dump on a blow off top. I'm going to wait a little bit and see how it reacts, right? How it reacts to that action. And then right in here... We get two tests of VWAP, both rejected, and that's when I said, okay, time to pull the trigger. Now this time I traded it with only 50% size instead of my regular full size. So in this time I got long, a starter, I did add to it. AMC put options, $25 strike, June 4th expiration. My entry was 420 on the initial. I did add to that, and I did actually drop down my, my average price some. Um, and then I just wrote it down. That's it. I just wrote it down. I wrote it down, started taking profits as we crept lower all throughout that drop. And so I started taking profits, taking some profits off for 50, taking more profits off for 90. These actually got up over five bucks briefly, 
and then they kind of retraced a little bit i took more profits off again at 450 and then i got flat at 420 i told you that last piece i'd hold it break even and i got flat at 420 um after we kind of had this this strong bounce here i was like all right i'm gonna just cut it and i got flat in there and uh, that was it that was that was my trade on amc that was my trade on amc now here on the daily this looks like a potential blow off top i will come back towards the end of the day and take a look and see how we close if we can close underneath yesterday's high i might look to swing some puts on amc as a swing trade okay just a, just an idea that i'm looking at it would be the same uh, $25 strike more than likely, but I am going to give myself more time and look further out, probably three to four weeks, okay? And not next week's because next week's a short week. We're going to come back on Tuesday. There'll be three days left to expiration, and I'm not going to deal with that mess. So we'll see. If it gives me the trade, great. If it doesn't, then I'll wait. One thing about me, as you've learned, is I'm an extremely patient trader, and that is absolutely essential to the longevity of a trader. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for today as far as the trading goes. Now, I'm going to work on a video that will come out probably either Sunday or Monday on why AMC isn't going to 400 bucks or much less 1000 Or, man, I've heard some people talking about it going to 100000 No. No, it's not happening. And I'm going to tell you why in that video. Remember to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video. Enjoy your weekend and I'll catch you on the next one.